Okay, I made a skull for the markets. So, what I have here is some resin already mixed up and a pretty little sticker. Uh, did I show you that properly then? I'll get it like off camera. I'm being really naughty lately. So, let's put this in here. I'm not sure how much resin I need in there. Oh, come off. Thank you. Right. So try and get this down in there. I've been chasing my dogs around. Next door neighbour's got a new dog. Oh my god. So this resin has got quite warm. Well, I've tried to stop my dogs from terrorising the neighbourhood. And it's looking pretty good. I was going to do some other stuff, but I'm just out of time. I'm just trying to get the sticker down in there. And hopefully it doesn't all curl up and turn into a mess. We'll see. I'll tell you in the morning. <laughs> but that's sitting down in there and that resin's really quite warm. So I need to clean up my mess and go and cook tea. Try to do something with my dogs. Um, what else have I got going on this table? A fair bit. But... It's too late, so I'll come back and talk to you about this one tomorrow. And I've got several other projects on the go, as usual. Talk to you later. Okay, this is cured. It's been in there, oh, probably a week. Um, I've been sidetracked. So what I have here is just some little red preserved flowers. They're hydrangeas. I'm just going to pour it bit of resin in. This is Aldex Crystal Cast resin. It's good for jewellery or if you're going to fluff around for a while it's got a 40 minute pot life. Okay so that's in. What I'm going to do hopefully Is I'm just going to dip these. I'm doing dipping in an effort to not have heaps of bubbles. Okay, and what I do want is I want them trying to face the sides if I can. That's why I'm only doing a shallow pour here. I'm just I'm not sure if it's going to work. Just see. And then try to get the little petals to open again. in there so as you notice I work on boards all the time I like to work on the boards 
they're easy to move around on my table but I do I don't use these for anything else by the way um, just my resin but every now and again I have to sand them because they as you can see get little drips of resin all over them which makes them all uneven Well, these things want to go everywhere but where I want them to go. They're not facing to the outside. I'm trying. Some of them is poking up and I don't know, maybe I'm trying to do too many flowers at once. Seems to be working better with less flowers putting in at a time. I seem to be clinging to the sides better. Find ones that are a bit flat. Oh, come on. I don't think I can get many more in there at this stage. And I want to put a little bit more resin in there. I'm guessing they're all going to float on me. So this layer looks like it's pretty full. I don't think I can get any more in there. So I'm just going to pour the rest of this resin in. Because this is a cast resin, you can't do a deep pour. Hence why I only had a small quantity mixed up. I knew they were going to float around. Because I've just added that little bit of extra depth, I've got a few gaps.
I've got a few bubbles in there. I'm just going to pour this last little bit in. And then I'll come back to this tomorrow. get bubbles up and I might um, let them all come to the surface and then give them a spray with some alcohol I don't want to put a torch in there okay we'll see what happens tomorrow talk to you then bye Alrighty, I've mixed up a bit of resin I'm just using Harry and Wilma's um, artist resin it's a one to one and I have here some green glitter. Don't know how much I need. Let me just give that a stir. What I'm going to do is add a tiny little drop of some clear glue to stop this from sinking. This is just a cheap glue that I've just bought from our local shop here in town, craft shop. Right. Just gonna add one drop, if we can get one drop out. Okay, let's see what one drop does. So what I need is the resin to go thicker. Which it's feeling like it is. I might need two drops. See what it's doing? Maybe I don't need two drops. Oh yeah, it's sticking them up heaps now. So that was just one tiny little drop. Hopefully I was on camera for it. See? What it's doing? Okay. Let's get it in here. And the reason I've chose this green glitter is because the sticker has got green in it. Oh, get off. The training here today, so what I did with my resin, as the temperature has dropped, I put cup A and cup B separately 
into some hot water. Just tap hot water, didn't boil a jug or anything. And just let it sit there for a few minutes. All right. Okay, I'm just going to sit this aside now and let that cure. All right, I've just got a little bit of resin in here because I think these things will float. So I'm just going to dip them. There we go. Get over. I might be a bit big, a bit cumbersome. Let's see. Hmm, it's going to fit. While I'm doing it like this, I don't want them poking out the bottom. Get the one in over there. Oh, didn't leave much stem on that one. I'm sure people don't realise just how much trouble sometimes you go to to make their bits and pieces that they think they should get for free. <laughs> Reason doesn't cost all that much, don't you just pour stuff in? <laughs> yeah, right, okay. the stick went to. So I'm just going to leave that like that because I don't want the flowers poking out the bottom. So I have to do a whole heap of sanding. I think we're good. Rightio. I'll be back for the next pour. Okay, so back. Last pour. So this is just Terry Mormer's um, art resin that I'm using here because it's only a shallow pour. All I do is fill this up, set it aside. This is a one-to-one -one resin, so it should cure faster. I can get this out and done. Seriously, how do I do that? This must be a little bit lopsided, I'm thinking. I'm just going to suck a bit out. And I can see a few little bubbles come on as well. Just on the back. 
my kid. I might just run all the way around. And we need to get a little bit more resin out. Oh my goodness, it's still coming out. I should have put it back in the... I've got a couple of the little projects on the go as usual. Eyesight's going. Alrighty. I'm just going to put this aside and we'll get it out later. Talk later, guys. Okay, let's get this maybe out of the mould. I've already squeezed a little bit of soapy water in and around. Broke the seal in some places. So it doesn't take 10 minutes getting it out. We hope. This is how I mark some of my moulds, unfortunately. Come on. Keep moving. Okay, we're out. So big water, every time. Really helpful. A little bit of sanding to do on the bottom. Oh, the green glitter is actually... Um, made it look like it's a Christmas decoration. Um, the sticker hasn't come out as heavy as I thought it would, but it's still okay. Just not what I thought it would do. But the flowers look really nice. Um, yeah, I wish I hadn't put the green in there. Anyway, there we go. Next job done. And we'll have to move on to some more. Thumbs up, guys, please. And subscribe. I'll talk to you all later. Bye.